Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a school bus. I don't typically show you guys how to make any sorts of vehicles because I don't think I'm particularly good at them, but this time I think I actually did a pretty decent job and it goes very well with the build that you might see on the screen in front of you. So not only does this school bus kind of stand alone, but if you want to make the school along with it, I will leave a link to that in the card system, including the school's interior slash exterior video as well. You can make everything all in one go if you like, or one of them, or none at all. But that's more than enough talking, guys. If you want to make the school bus, here's what you're going to need. You will need some quartz slabs, then grab some stomach stairs, and some quartz stairs, then flip over, grab yourself some yellow wool, some black wool, grab yellow carpet, then flip down, grab yourself some white stained glass pane, grab item frames, and also grab yourself some ladders. Now, we'll need a load of random miscellaneous materials as well, but we'll just have to grab those as we need them. So, once you have each one of these materials right here, and I'm going to be building the school bus on this road, you're going to, once you have all of your materials, and possibly your road, kick off the school bus with this. Do a single black wall on the floor. Then, going left of that black wall, so towards where the back of your school bus is going to be, this is the front right tyre, the front's going to be on the right, the back of the school bus is going to be on the left there. Going left of this tyre, do a row of 10 quartz slabs. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then do a black wall. Then, continuing to go left towards the back of the school bus, do 3 quartz slabs, that's 1, 2, 3. Then take a sideways view to what you've just made and take this back quart slab and go left of it, so across the bus, by four. That's one, two, three, four. Then take a sideways view to what you've just made and going back on ourselves, now we want to do two quart slabs, that's one, two. Then one black wall. We then want to go left by 10 with the slabs, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, nine and ten. We then want to do a blank wall. We then want to continue going left by 3, that's 1, 2, 3. We then want to take a sideways view and we want to go left by 4, so across the bus by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we want to connect back to where we first start and this is just kind of going to be the frame of the bus here. So that's the frame of the bus. As I said, this part is the front of the bus that I'm kind of on now, and just to signify that actually, you just see left of this wheel here, the very first wheel that we placed, in front of that, to the left of it, place a quartz stair. And on top of the slab that you placed, also place another quartz stair. That's how you're going to like get on and off of the bus. You don't have to have this if you don't want to, but this is where the stairs are. Now, what you want to do is, on top of the layer of quartz slash black wool, you now want to add a layer of yellow wool, kind of going all the way around on top of the frame of the bus. So just do a layer of yellow going all the way around on top of the frame of your bus, like this. And this will just build it up a little bit, like that. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, coming to the very front of the bus here, take the three middle blocks on the front of the bus, these ones right here, raise them up by one row, and then drag them inward by two rows. So that should be one and two, like that. What we now want to do is, you can see here, where we have like this block, kind of like on the same side as the stairs, we want to take this yellow wall block that we just placed, and we want to place a black wall in front of it here, and we want to place a black wall on the opposite side here as well. And then, from these two black walls, we kind of want to connect them together on the back of the bus, so we don't want to touch the front part of the bus, but we do want to do a layer of black wall that kind of goes all the way around the bus like this, and it just stops on the front in that position that I've just shown you, like that. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, you can see on top of this left-hand black wall that we placed, this one that we... You guys can see the one, it's like just right at the stairs. Starting from on top of this, place a yellow wall, and place a yellow wall on the opposite side as well. And then what we want to do is, starting from this first yellow wall that we place, going left, so we have to leave a gap of one, we want to leave a gap of one, place a yellow wall. We then want to, still going left, do two white stained glass pane, one yellow, then two white pane, one yellow, two white pane, one yellow, 
two white pain, one yellow. We're now on the back of the bus and we want to do three white pain, one yellow. Then sideways, coming across the bus again, we want to do two white pain, one yellow. Two white pain, one yellow. Two white pain, one yellow. Two white pain, one yellow then one white pane and that's just like the driver's side window. Now once you've done that once you actually want to add an additional layer of what you've just done on top of that so you now want to on top of all of the yellow blocks add an additional yellow block and on top of the glass add all of the glass so I'm just going to add all of the yellow wool first and then I'm going to um, add all of the glass just because I think it might be a little bit easier you guys know how tricky glass pane can be so we're just adding all of the glass here oh this is going to be the trickiest bit we've got to balance it on top there we go and we're just on this right hand side of the bus now where the stairs are and we just want to have something which should look a little bit like that now this is what you want to do next come to the very front of the bus and you can see these black walls that we have on like the left and the right hand sides on the front of the bus connect these together with a layer of glass like that just bounced on top and then once you've done that add an additional layer of glass on top of that and that will form the bus's front window or the windshield whatever you want to call it really once you have that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, we now want to, let's start on the same block that we always seem to start on. So, run this side of the bus, and on top of this yellow wall that you can see me on top of right here, you guys can see the one, this yellow wall just next to the window, place a yellow wall on top of this block. Then going left of it, place a black wall, followed by a yellow, then two black wool, one yellow, two black, one yellow, two black, one yellow, two black, one yellow. Then moving across the back of the bus, do three black wool, then one yellow. Then moving towards the front of the bus again, do two black, one yellow, two black, one yellow, two black, one yellow, two black, one yellow, one black, one yellow. You then want to do a row of two, yellow wool coming out in front of the bus, that's one, two. We then want to go across the front of the bus by four, that's one, two, three, four. And then connect back to the front of the bus like this. So you want to have something which should look a little bit like that. Perfecto. Now, what you want to do next is this. So we want to, for the next row on top, of, on top of the bus, you can see just one row sat backwards in relation to the front of the bus here. So one row sat backwards, we want to do a layer of yellow that goes all the way around the top of the bus, except it doesn't want to come in line with the first row of the bus, if you guys can see what I'm talking about. So it wants to just stop one row short of the front of the bus to just kind of like form this shape right here. And as a matter of fact, you don't want those three blocks to connect at the front in yellow. You want to have a free black wall connected at the front of the bus like this, if you can, guys can see what I mean. So you want to have something which should look like that. You can then proceed to fill the entire top of the bus in with yellow wool. You can just fill the top of the bus in with yellow wool, which is what I'm doing now. And what we can also do is we want to take the three middle rows of the top of the bus and we just want to raise them up with carpet. So take the three middle rows of the top of the bus and just raise them up with carpet. This is just a very very subtle difference but it does kind of change the shape of the bus ever so slightly you can see that it's now ever so ever so slightly just a little bit slightly different shaped now we have kind of like the base of the bus now now it's probably time for us to add all of the things which will make this look a little bit better so we'll work on the outside first of all come all the way to the front of the bus take the top or take the front left hand corner and the front right hand corner of the bus blocks, knock them out, replace them with black wool. Throw yellow carpet on top of the black wool and the yellow wool behind each side of the two blocks that you've just knocked out. Then also place a layer of yellow wool kind of like on top of like where, uh, on top of the front of the bus, like where the grill is, right here. Use your ladders to do two rows of three ladders to kind of like form the grill of the bus. 
We then want to use item frames on the front of and on the sides of the black wall blocks that we just placed, and later we'll be adding coloured blocks. We also want to add item frames here and here, just above the windows in the two corners, which we will also add blocks to later like this. Now, there's not that much more that we have to do to the outside of the bus, but there is quite a few bits that we can do to the inside of the bus before we can dump some materials. So, once you've done that to the front of the bus, and we will be coming back to this, you now want to come to the inside of the bus. And I just remembered we actually have to give this thing a floor. So, um, the floor of the bus is obvious where it goes. The floor of the bus sits just one row above the quartz slabs that we have. It just sits one row above Above the wheels so we've just got to add a few layers of yellow here to just kind of like form the base of the bus so we just want to have something which should look a little bit like that now for the like driver's seat and stuff which we do have the driver's seat is located obviously where you'd expect it to be so it's in like the front left hand corner of the bus and it just sits one block back that's where the driver's going to be sitting that's where he sits and then we want to Doing this for every single row coming backwards, behind the seat we want to leave a gap of one, place a stone brick stair. Gap of one, stone brick stair, so on and so forth, until you reach the back of the bus. The back of the bus has a layer of three stone brick stairs for the back seat. And then starting from this left hand stone brick, coming forward we want to leave one, press one, leave one, place one, leave one, place one, so on and so forth, so we now have a row of seats like this. And of course, the driver's seat is quartz stair, everybody else's is stone brick stair. Now we can dump some materials. So, just to complete the rest of the inside bus, all we're going to need is red carpet, and we're going to need a lever. The lever is going to be placed kind of like diagonal to in the middle front of the bus, like this, and that's kind of like the sh the like the gear stick, the shifting stick, whatever. It it's just kind of like control the bus. It obviously doesn't do anything because there's no redstone involved with this. Um, the red carpet is actually just kind of like carpet for the bus, just so that you're not staring at yellow. Um, you can make this any color you want, maybe black, maybe you want to leave it yellow, any color that you want. And if you if for whatever reason the lever bothers you you might just want to place a red wall just beneath the lever and then place another lever if you can see what i mean so it kind of like melds into the carpet because obviously you can't place the lever on top of the carpet can you so you want to have something which should look like that for the interior and if you want to you can also light up the bus if you so choose but i'm not choosing to once you've got all of that taken care of this is what you want to do next grab yourself some block of quartz and also grab yourself some orange wool now the Two front item frames at the bot bottom front of the bus, they are to be filled in with block of quartz. The ones on the sides are orange wool. And the ones on top of the bus, top front of the bus, those are red wool. And we almost forgot one thing, guys. The last thing that we have to do is we just have to put buttons on all four of the wheels. Just place stone buttons on the outside of all four of the wheels, and that will actually be the uh, last thing that you have to do to the bus. And I think that the bus actually looks pretty good. Not only does it does it not take very long to make, not only do I think is it quite easy to make, I think it's a pretty good-looking bus, isn't it? And it also fits the road that you have in front of the school. So why don't we just look out from the other side? Why don't we look at the whole thing? Not too shabby. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. It fits in quite well. Well, hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully you've managed to make it. And if you've done both those things, I'd really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, a favourite, a share. Vehicles are really out of my comfort zone, and it actually took me quite a while to design this, because like I said, vehicles really aren't my thing. So hopefully you guys do appreciate this. I just thought that it'd go quite well with the school. I just I just thought that it'd go quite well as all. So like, favourite, share if you wouldn't mind. Comment down below. Let me know if you like the bus. Plus, also tell me any other vehicles you might want me to make. I would suggest smaller vehicles vehicles because if you if you're gonna ask me to make the Millennium Falcon guys which is what a lot of you've been asking me to make recently that's just so big and I'm, I'm just not that good at those things to be completely honest with you I'm to tell you the truth I'm just not that good at the massive vehicle build so um like favorite share if you wouldn't mind comment down below let me know if you want me to make anything else let me know what you want me to make check out the card system if you also want to make the school I might also leave some additional videos and playlists that I think that you guys might also be interested in all of that in the card system thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.